Hi, and in today's Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a simple weekly diary entry in Word. So the first thing I'm going to do is to go to Insert, down to Table, and then I'm just going to click and drag my cursor all the way down and insert two columns and eight rows. Once my table's inserted, you can see that my cursor is at the top left here. I'm just going to hit the return key to allow my cursor to come out and go to the top there so that I can move this table up and down and also insert some text at the top here. The next thing I'm going to do is to increase the height of my rows. So I'm going to select my whole table by clicking on this square icon at the top here or by simply clicking and dragging to select the entire table. Then I'm going to go out, up to Layout, and then along to Height. And then all I'm going to do is press 2.7 and press Enter. Now I've made those rows much, much taller. Then I'm going to move my cursor over this middle line until it turns into a double-headed arrow and then just drag it over to the left. Then once I'm happy, I'm going to select my table again, and then to ensure that all my text down here is in the middle of my cell, I'm going to go back up to Layout, and then along to this icon here, which is aligned to center. And then you can see these slightly grayed out areas will move to the center of your cells. Now what I'm going to do is select my entire table again, and I'm going to go up to the Home tab. I'm going to click on the fonts. And then I'm going to select this font here. Then I'm going to increase the font size to 18. And that means that when I go ahead and type in my days of the week, I don't have to go ahead and change every single entry. And then down at the bottom here, I'm just entering in some notes. So I'm gonna place my cursor at the top here, and then I'm just gonna hit the return key twice, maybe three or four times, three times. Excellent, so now we've got the space at the top to put a heading. But before I do that, I'm just going to add some thicker borders to the edges and the bottom of the notes here. So I'm going to select my entire table. I'm going to go up to Table Design, and along to this area here. Now this area is all to do with those border lines you've got around your table. So the first thing I want to do is to increase the size of those border lines. So I'm going to go to this icon here, click on the drop down and go all the way down to two and a quarter points. Then I'm going to go along to this border section here and click on the drop down. Then I'm going to go down to Outside Borders, and the reason I'm doing this is because I've selected the whole table, it's going to put border lines around the outside of what I've selected. So if I've only selected one cell, it'll only put outside borders around that one cell. So let me just show you. Let's click on this one. As you can see, that thicker border line's gone around the outside of that table. Now I'm going to go down the bottom here and just select these two cells because I want my border line just to go around the outside of these two cells. So again, I've already selected my weight of my border, and I've also selected outside borders as well. So all I need to do is just to click. And as you can see, those border lines have appeared. You can go ahead and do that to all of them if you want to, or you can also select all of these and again, do an outside border so you have a thicker line here. So let's go ahead and do that and just click. And as you can see, you've just got a bit more of a defined line there. If you wanted to merge these two cells because you just wanted notes, you can go ahead and just select those two cells, go up to Table Layout, and then go along to this icon here which says Merge Cells. Click on that. You'll see that you merge the cells, but your notes have appeared in the middle. So again, go back up to this section here, and then you can just move that word over to the left and then you've adjusted it for your needs. I'm just going to press the space bar just to move it over a little bit, and then you can put your notes in at the bottom. 
Now if you want a title at the top here, I'm going to go up to Insert, Text Box, Draw Text Box, and then I'm just going to click and drag. I'm not too worried about where it is at the moment. And then I'm just going to insert my text. So let's just say this was for January, week beginning first. And then I'm going to go up to the Home tab and click Center Text. Let's do that for everything. So I'm just going to select all of that text, click Center Text. I'm going to increase the size of my text and again change the font if I want to. Let's change it to this one. Let's just increase that size. And now if this happens, you can see that the words have been cut off. It's because your text box isn't big enough. So let's just move this down a little bit. But the other thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to remove this white border. So once I've selected my text box, go to Shape Format, go along to Shape Outline, click on the drop down and select No Outline. When you've done that, click away and you can see that outline's gone. But we can still move this around anywhere we want. Now, as you can see, we've also got a white background to this. If you want to remove that as well, go back up to Shape Format, go to Shape Fill and select No Fill. Then when you move it, you can see there's no background. To ensure this is perfectly centered, make sure it's selected, go to Align, click on the drop down and select Align to Center. And there you have your weekly diary entry. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.